Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to August's Palette Full Packs box. I'm very excited to open this up, so if you're interested in Palette Full Packs or you don't even know what it is, I will have some information in the description below. So let's talk about what's inside. First we have the card that lets us know everything that's on the inside. And then of course we have the paper worms, which is one of my favorite parts. Alright, so the first item in the box is a Princeton Snap Golden Taclon Round. The Snap is a high quality brush from Princeton Brush. Golden Taclon like this in Snap work very well for watercolor. I got a number 6 round brush and I have to say I really enjoy it for watercolor. It does seem to hold a lot of water and a lot of paint which is always nice and this isn't my first rodeo with the Snap brush and I do really enjoy how snappy they are. I don't know if this little swatch demo kind of shows it to you, but they just work really well for um, getting good strokes and stuff. Next up is a ProArt 5x7 140 pound watercolor paper block full of 15 sheets of paper. Now this is like a Hobby Lobby brand and I've had an experience with that before and I'll talk about it later in the video, but thankfully this exceeded my expectations. This is a professional grade watercolor paper with a strong rough surface size to withstand repeated washes and scrubbings. Um, exceptional wet strength, versatile for all types of watercolor techniques. And then the last three items in the box are some core watercolors. We got quinacridone magenta, ultramarine blue, and nickel azo yellow. So pretty much we have the primary colors, which is always nice. Um, and I find that you can mix a really good range with these. I am no stranger to core watercolors. I have the high chroma set and I do really enjoy them. They are super expensive, <laughs> um, but they're very high quality. They're worth every penny. And honestly, I, I don't use them very often in my work because I, I don't want to waste them, which, uh, I have art supply guilt, <laughs> but as you'll be able to see in just a second, they mix so gorgeously and they're just such clean colors and I absolutely love them. And hopefully I will use them more. Um, I do already have the quinacridone magenta. It actually comes in the high chroma set, but that's okay because I did not have the other two colors and I had a lot of fun trying to, you know, find colors I could mix with them, like the purple that you're about to see and, um, you know, the green and the orange, actually the magenta and the yellow make a nice red as well as an orange, which is always nice. And plus, these flow super, super beautifully in water, which is great. Um, I don't know, just their effects are always so great. So here is a look at the box. We're going to go into an illustration and paint something with these watercolors, and I cannot wait to do so. So let's get started. So I decided that a beachy scene would be fun to kind of play around with. So I just doodled it and started painting. Now, I do want to talk more about the water pad, watercolor paper pad. So a long time ago, I tried the ProArt brand of watercolor paper. Now, mind you, this was not in a block. It was just single sheets and it was terrible. That stuff soaked water like a paper towel. Once you put water down, it was immediately dry and trying to blend and stuff was just horrendous. So when I saw this brand, when I opened the box, I just sighed inside myself. I was not looking forward to this, but thankfully I can say that this paper, I don't know if there's a difference between the single sheets and the blocks, or maybe they improved their formula or something, but I can say uh, with certainty that this is so, 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 so much better than my last experience, thankfully, uh, because again, it was not a great one. So um, I every color you see in this painting is mixed with the three colors. So um, I got nice oranges, nice browns. I eventually mix a black, which um, I, I don't know. For some reason, I always find it very satisfying to mix black, even though it's not really that hard. But anyway, um, and I just played around with the flowy effects of it and I don't know, just had fun pretty much. And honestly, I really like this piece and I was thinking about making prints of it, but I don't know if, if it's like print worthy, if that makes any sense. I don't know. I might test run it at a convention or something and see if it's any good, but I really like it. And I guess it's all that really matters. Um, and I approached this painting a little differently. I actually painted everything before her skin, which is relatively strange for me. Usually I paint the skin first. I, I really don't know why I did that. Um, <laughs> there was no preference or anything. I just 
was painting and having fun, I guess, and didn't really think about the skin. Anyway, um, I kind of already talked about the products and how I felt about them, but let's go over it one more time. So, um, Core Watercolors are probably one of the highest watercolors that you can buy on the market, and I absolutely adore them. Um, now, you have to think of it this way, um, I, they do not give a price breakdown on the card, which is a shame. I really wish they would do that. Every once in a while they will, but, like, sometimes they won't. However, I do know that this box is worth, uh, a good chunk of money. Getting the prices of the items from Amazon, so the paper pad itself is $14.99. Then I took the watercolors. Of course, you can't get these individually in the 5 milliliter size, but you can get all of these colors in the 12 introductory set, so what I did was I divided the 12 set by 4 to get the price of what three watercolors would be, and that would equal up to $9.75. And then the paintbrush was a whopping $14.23. Um, these Princeton brushes are no joke, but it is good quality, so it's totally worth it. So the total Amazon prices that I could find are $38.97. I feel like if they would have it on the card, it would have been marked way higher than that, um, you know, because list prices and all that stuff. But Anyway, if you're interested in checking any of these supplies out, I will have um, links down in the description below to all the stuff I use, including the gel pen and the fine liner you're seeing me use right now. Um, but, you know, I pay $24 for this box, and honestly, <laughs> this box is always such a great deal for me. Um, again, I was bummed about the paper. I honestly... I had like this whole script in my head that I was going to be like, oh man, this paper is terrible, but thankfully it was really good paper. You know, Powerful Packs always curates a really great box. It's always project based, so you know, you can make a project with whatever you get in the box. I do wish they had included maybe a fine liner or a pencil or something. That is one thing I'm kind of, um, you know, down about or whatever, but that's fine. You know, I have enough of those, so it's not like it's that big of a deal. But, you know, if you were to get this box and you wanted to only use the supplies, you may have a hard time. I, I suppose you don't have to have a pencil or a fine liner. It's just my preference. But anyway, I digress. Uh, we're coming to a close on the video. I want to thank you so incredibly much for watching. Um, if you aren't already and you want to be a part of our cute squid pod, there is a subscribe button down below. And if you ring the bell, you'll get notified on when I upload new videos. Also, don't forget, I have social media links down in the description below. And I have Patreon and an art store too. So if you want to check those out, they will be down there as well. So yeah, um, thank you so much again for watching. I love you all so incredibly much. And until next time, my adorable squidlings, toodaloo!